Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. What about supplementation when it comes to Bollywood? Uh, we had Basu Shankar, who's the coach of the Indian cricket team. So he's, you know, all, all about sports science. And he spoke about the importance of creatine for athletes. I supplement a lot with creatine. I feel it just changes the shape of my body, my performance in the gym. Therefore, the shape of my body even more. I am assuming that you administer creatine to your clients. Yeah, creatine for sure. It's the most studied amino acid out of all the amino acids for its purity, safety, and performance. So yeah, for sure, you know, that's a supplement that I get my clients on. But again, you have some people that are responders and that can take the creatine molecule, the size of the particle. Some people can't. So then you have to look at this, the type of the creatine. So uh, if they can't take a monohydrate, which majority of people can, that's the most studied one, they'll have to take a, like a micronized uh, HCL uh, type of creatine. So everybody's different on the type of creatine that they'd respond to as well. But creatine, yeah, the basics, um, you know, the protein powders, the glutamine, the multivitamins, but then you go down the rabbit hole based on their blood work. Maybe they need glutathione, especially after the age of 40. Maybe they need more NMN, especially after the age of 40. If they're low in B12, maybe they don't absorb vitamin D through the sun. So they have to go very high when it comes to the vitamin D and K2 supplementation. Yeah, I think this is the kind of breakdown for another whole episode. Like oh, okay. You could go down a rabbit hole yeah. of supplementation. Maybe... In this one, we won't really talk much about the supplements because what I've assumed is that it's different depending on the person's blood Everybody's work. Everybody's different. Everyone's mm. different. Mm. Okay. You know, I like to look at the blood work first before saying, okay. Because the thing is, all supplements have got a health responsibility to them. Mm. You take them all, you'll probably die. Mm. You know, so you have to look at it logically. Yeah. Um, what about protein shakes, plant protein versus whey protein versus isolates? Do you do you acknowledge plant proteins? For like, sure. Do you yeah. think you think it works? For well? sure, my own brand has a plant protein. Okay. So with plant protein, uh, pea protein is going to be the most bioavailable. Mm -hmm. However, they still have plant defense mechanisms called lectins. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that you have a digestive enzyme to help break that down and increase the surface space of that peptide, okay? So your body can absorb it that much easier. But if you do have that, then it will have a, a positive effect. So do plant proteins, like, uh, do they usually get manufactured with that enzyme inbuilt? You, no, they don't always. You'd have to add that to it. What's the enzyme called? Uh, pro, there's two enzymes. Uh, the the main one for plant-based is called IOA. IOA. Okay. IOA technology, basically. Mm. And then the other one, which is usually more so, but it can be used in plant protein, but usually uh, more so in whey proteins, is called prohydrolyze. And gotcha. that's an enzyme that'll help, down, help break down the isolate into a smaller fraction to be absorbed easier. Mm. Okay. Uh, and speaking about whey protein in general, uh, do, you, do you feel like whey protein has a better effect on human bodies than plant protein? Or is it again subjective based on the person? Subject based on the person, especially of their background. If they want to go for something that's plant based, they don't want to have dairy or anything like that. Um, I personally think whey is better, uh, but I don't have a pro like I take the plant protein. I love it. Um, but I think whey protein is going to have a better response, a better anabolic response. You know, it's got the complete essential amino acid profile, yeah. um, you know, but you can add extra leucine to a plant-based protein to make it a little bit more anabolic as well. Mm. Have you noticed whey protein causing skin issues with people? Like I see that with a lot of Indian guys. I don't know now whether it is some Indian genetics angle here. But a lot of my friends deal with everything from pimples to bloating to some sort of rashes because of whey protein. Do you think it's because of using lower quality whey proteins or is it probably because of their subjective response to dairy? It could be both subject to their response to dairy, but I'd say it's probably the quality of the protein more than anything. Um, you know, like I know people that take and isolate that are cyst cystic fibrosis sufferers. Mm -hmm. So they have an allergen towards a lot of proteins. But if they take one that's of high premium grade, it's non-GMO, uh, it's got less than one gram of lactose, they're usually absolutely fine. Mm. You know, oh. So I always tell people as well, look, go get a gut microbiome test. There's a company called Viome that does it. There's a lot of companies out there. And see if your body is like has a lot of histamine or there's some sort of sensitivity that you have to a particular food. And maybe you have to do an elimination process during a, for a while and then maybe fix the leaky gut syndrome that you have. Mm. A lot of people will eliminate a food and go, okay, 
I feel good now. And then they try to introduce it again in six months time. Uh, but they don't really understand the negative side effects. You have to heal the gut microbiome. Let's say if you've done antibiotics or you've had pro-inflammatory foods, processed foods, um, all of this is going to upset the gut microbiome and you're going to cause gut dysbiosis. Mm. So then you need to fix it and then introduce it again. Mm. Whoa, okay. Again, this is one of those things we got to break down on a whole other episode, man. And yeah. uh, knowing you as a person now, I feel like you're a learner, you're a researcher, and you're an explorer of life. Like you do all sorts of things, even outside of the world of health. So I'm just looking forward to like meeting you again, Chris. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.